wind them up like this. Like a lasso, right? Hey, you're so fussy. Get the Lone Ranger to do it. Boys. Boys, please, can't it wait? The online's in a week. Oh, yeah, the online, great. The online, yeah. They wouldn't know an online if you bit them. Uh, so we can depend on you then, John? No sweat, babe. Hey, I'm a real night, so if you want some action. <laughs> Lovely, John. Uh, I'll bring the milk and you can get your mum to bring the biscuits. We've got no choice. No, look, no, I'm not being ratty with you. Come on. Look, I washed my hair this morning and I can't do a thing with it. <laughs> All right, then, yeah, we'll see you then. Okay, thanks. Bye. That's it, we got it. We can do the trocadero at 10 o'clock. Oh, bleep! We've got to go now. What do you mean, we? Well, I made the contact, so naturally... Wait, 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 you? In front of camera? Well, yeah. What's the matter? Is the hunchback in Notre Dame got his day off or something? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Lemmy can't make it, can Listen, he? I'm the editor. I made the contact, so I do the shoot. Hang on. Hello. Oh, Pate. Oh, hi. Thanks for calling back. Yes, that's right. Yeah, we wanted to do a piece on Shadowlands. Oh, that Why doesn't he right. get his hair cut? It's so 60s. Guess what we need. Okay, I'm going to go. Thanks. Bye. Hey, where are you? Jake, where are they going? I've got to do the feature of the truck. Well, I don't know why you're laughing. You're still here. Get on with your space invaders. So they went without me, did they? Off to have a good time at the Trocadero Centre in London's Piccadilly Circus. It's said to be the best arcade in Europe, and they're here to take a closer look at the Virtuality Centre. you got crutches. Oh, I'll have this one. Our intrepid reporters are here to test the latest virtual reality arcade game, Heavy Metal. We're going to get in. Heavy Metal is an amazing game where up to four players can compete against each other in a full virtual reality environment. A computer city, as you can see here. Controlling gigantic robotic walkers, the aim is to knock the stuffing out of anyone you can find. Wow! What was that about? You may look silly from the outside, but inside the stereo wraparound visual helmet, the action is amazing. The sensations while playing are very strange. A new kind of out-of-body experience, almost. Your eyes tell you you're moving, but your body doesn't. Hey, Sam, are you behind me or what? I've done it. All right, this is it. This is it. I've had enough of this. This is war. It's quite easy to get carried away. This game has real atmosphere. To play this well, you need the reflexes and scanning abilities of a test pilot. Wow, man! That was wicked! Hey, Sav, you're terminated! Terminated! Next, we tried our hands at VTOL, the Harrier Flight Simulator. You have to put money in! It won't work without money! John! Please, put it in! Once you put your two-pound in and fasten yourself into the eject seat, your jet takes off, launching you into virtual airspace. Oh, I'm in an emergency. I'm going to crash. I'm dead. I'm crashed. Meanwhile, at the gyroscope, John the office Brad is getting a great deal more for his money in G-Lock. The fully rotating unit simulates the G-forces experienced in flight. Too much pressure can make a pilot loopy. I'm going now! Yeah, he did pretty well. I've got to, I've got to admit it. Yeah, 15 kills. Yeah, 15 That's not kills. bad for a beginner. Oh, here we go. Here he comes. Ah, uh, John, you look, you look really well for me, huh? You're very well. Come on, never mind. I'm hungry. Let's go and eat. Yeah, I'll take it. Thanks, Tom. How about you, John? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, this is Tony Dillon. No. Is that Bart? Hi, this is Tony, your editor. No, no. Hi, this is Tony. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, this is Tony. And this is the first review. Grand Prix. 
Jeff Crammond, author of The Sentinel and Stunt Car Racer, makes a welcome return to our screens with Grand Prix, the latest race simulation from Microprose. You find yourself racing on a number of tracks around the world, the main difference between them being the shape and weather conditions. Although when you drive as badly as this, all you're going to see is spinning tarmac. The controls are quite complex and give you every option imaginable. Whether you need them all is up to your individual expectations. There's an option for a faster race by simply reducing the amount of scenery, though the action is fast enough already. Aren't we supposed to be racing on the track? You can choose from one of six difficulty levels. You can also race against a field of drivers equal to you. Although for all as bad as this, we better take up stock car racing. Grand Prix is a terrific action-packed simulation, well above standard. One thing I would like to clear up now is this. Heimdall is how role-playing games should have been done to begin with. No hexagons, no alphabetic menus, and not a hint of keyboard control. The game is based around the old Nordic legends of Ragnarok, which are far too lengthy to go into here. The general upshot is that you and your party of five have to save the world. Through visiting various lands, searching and pillaging, you are confronted by numerous tasks. These are to find and recover Thor's hammer, Odin's sword and Freya's spear. So choose your party wisely. Your success depends on these people. Everything about this game says enormous. There are an enormous amount 